Oh, sugar. He surrendered. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> we actually got it, man. All of you guys wanting to surrender. Look, this is good example right here, man. Guys, man, just for that, man, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. That was nuts. Yo, what is going on, squad? This is Yami Blood, and this is our legacy. Alright guys, today I've got for you an absolutely insane matchup we had using my Obelisk deck versus Lunalite. This duel oozes combos, plays, and big brain, along with misplays. But the moves in this duel make for great learning material to highlight the key aspects of how this deck functions. A lot of you bros in the stream kept telling me to surrender, but there were still a handful of you guys that believed in your boy and believed in the heart of the cards. Needless to say guys, that we pulverized our opponent and got the win in the 30th turn. This is a very good example of why you should never surrender prematurely, but battle to your last breath. I will link both Obelisk streams in the description for your entertainment, for educational purposes, and of course, to see your boy slay the ranks. Anyways guys, show your support by smashing that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, notification bells on to never miss any of my streams and or videos, PayPal link is in the description for those spicy dank donations, and may the heart of the cards guide you my boys, peace out. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Ah, oh, he's got the rabbit. Going against Lulu's. Is he going in for Saber Dancer right off the bat? Is he going for Cat Dancer? Man, I would love to beat Saber Dancer right now with Obelisk. Seriously. Saber Dancer is OP, so if there's an out to Saber Dancer, I always want to see that strategy. I always want to see it. Because she's. Okay, Cat Dancer. Cat Dancer is cool too. Yeah, Lunar Light's definitely in my top 10 decks. Um, deck list. Okay, let's concentrate. Uh, I guess we mill the deck a bit. Mm. Mill the deck, but... Should we bring out another window? Yeah, let's do it. See, I want to show you guys Obelisk's second effect against Saber Dancer. This duel might be the one where we get to do it. But it's a pretty nice effect. Okay, we got the Tiki. So basically, we now need Obelisk. Um, hmm. Do I want to set is the question. Yeah, we need to... Hold up. I could suicide into Cat Dancer. Summon a Pelio. But nah. We need basically 900 damage so that we can activate the draw sense high level skill. But if we attack into him, how much is that? What, 400, 800? Hmm. Let's put this in attack. And let's also. You can only use it once per turn, right? Cool. Let him do it. <laughs> Wait, let's hope it's not a Crimson Fox, though. Actually, that was a bad move. That was a bad move, because if he's got Crimson Fox, he could go for the OTK. Dang it. My bad. My bad. Bro, don't drop a Crimson Fox. Oh, please not. That was actually a bad move. I forgot Cat, Cat Dancer can attack twice. Alright, cool. Nice. Alright, um... Take the damage. That should be enough for a thousand LP drop, right? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, uh, we're gonna bring out Obelisk now, guys. So, let's summon Apelio. Actually, do we wanna summon Apelio? Mm, yeah, let's just do it. 
the obelisk is coming out now, guys. Serious. Serious. It's about to end his uh, turn. Okay. We get to draw since high level now. Go into obelisk. There we go. The boy's here. Activate monarch. There we go. Discard a card. Discard the window. Select divine. Alright. Summon the boy. Use Monarch as two tributes. Use the Pelio as a third. Here comes the boy, guys. Man, <laughs> feels great to summon him, you know. Here he goes. Here he goes. There we go, boys. There we go. Saber Dancer can't really do much. Um. You see, I can activate the traps, use this effect to destroy this basically, but then we can't declare an attack, so... Mm, I'm a bit worried about Saber Dancer though, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit worried about it. Let's go for Bird. Or should we destroy his field? The thing is, Saber Dancer can be bulked up, so... We don't have any defense at the moment. I'm a little concerned. Oh, he's got Karibo. He's got the Sphere. Oh, he's got regular Karibo. Yeah, maybe I should have activated Obelisk's um, second effect. Destroy his field. But we kind of need that Sphere Karibo just in case Saber Dancer does come out. Yeah, he's going to do that. No problems. No worry, broski. Don't worry. Alright, that's cool. Check it, boys. What I was mentioning in the beginning of the stream, we're about to do it now. So, Monarch, Summon, right? Nope. Uh, Tiki, we can't summon, damn it. You know, Obelisk can also tribute itself. But I believe Monarch's effect is a bit of a nuisance, though. Because it says here, um, if this card was uh, summoned this way, you cannot special summon monsters except monsters with this card's attributes. How did I do it before? There was a way where I summoned Obelisk, but then I was also able to activate my um, my trap monsters. Dang it. might be a problem we can tribute obelisk worst comes to the worst he's protected um, cat dancer from bow Man, I can't remember how I quite done it last time. If this card was summoned this way, you cannot special with monsters, uh, special summon monsters except monsters with this card's attribute. So what? Divine. Anyone know like um, the loophole? Because I did find a um, solution to that. Yeah, we've got Statue of Anguish. I think I might just activate his effect. Let's give it one more turn. We're kind of frozen here. 
All right, here we go. Saber Dance is gonna come out. Dang it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. My monsters in fact activate. <laughs> Look at this boy. Take him down. Yeah, we'll do that next duel. This. this is a learning curve. My turn. It's my draw. Ah man, we we kind of locked ourselves down. <laughs> yeah, we're in a pickle here, boys. Because this guy, Monarch, here is a bit of a pain. We're just gonna wait for him to do his thing. Yeah, this is good learning material at the moment. We have to be wise when using Monarch. And uh, we didn't actually need to even use Monarch's effect because we did have triple uh, traps. We can still get rid of um what's her face? Saber Dancer. You won't escape from me. I'll use my set card. Does he have Crimson Fox in the grave? Special summon. You won't escape from me. I uh where is it? Oh wait, Saber Dancer can't be targeted target hit dag it. She can be destroyed, but not targeted. I end my turn. It's not over. My turn. Yeah, guys, like, Duel Links, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's all about learning. Like, it actually interests me. I'm really intrigued. Um... I don't know what to do though, for the win. I flip over my set card. <laughs> Here it comes. Let me think. How do we get rid of Saber Dancer? There's nothing strong enough. We can shift it into defense, but then how do we destroy it? Izai, is that how you pronounce your name, bro? Izai Ernesto? I bet that we are going to become the new biggest Duel Links community. For sure, bro, for sure. For sure we will, man. We've got a lot of um, positive bros on the channel. A lot of you guys are very positive, and I appreciate that. Alright, Daniel, what's that? If you attack with the Pelio, Saber gets negated, and then activate the trap to target him. You reckon? Does that work? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You have to try harder than that. I activate my monster's effect. It's not over. My turn. What do you mean? I don't understand that. I don't understand what you mean by that.
If you attack with a Pelio Saber gets negated, how does that happen? A Pelio's effect is that it doesn't get... It is unaffected by um, anything. It doesn't negate the monster. This guy wants me to deck out, doesn't he? Wow. Wow. I don't know guys, what do we have in the deck? Where's the deck list? What do we have in the deck? Do we have anything that can... Nah, not really, isn't it? Saber Dancer can't be targeted. We don't have anything else. Hmm. I think I should have used Obelisk's effect. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to take this, guys. Cause he's trying to look for a deck out. But what what a match to start off with! We managed to summon an Obelisk like right off the bat, and we learnt quite a bit. I don't see how we can uh, turn this around. What's he trying to do? No, 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 guys. Don't give up just yet. The broski might deck himself out. Let him keep searching cards and he's going to deck out before us. So don't count this duel out just yet. I'm wondering if he's going to be able to mill some more. Smack him with Tiki. <laughs> Why would I do that? My monster's effect activates. Graph films. That's actually a very good question. Can you exes with trap monsters? That's a very good question. We might actually look into that, you know. My monster's effect activates. That could be very interesting. Uh, what do I want to do, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Okay. Tiki Curse, yeah? Yeah, we'll take out one Altergeist, or maybe um, a Tiki Soul. Put in a Tiki Curse. If he just mills one more card from the deck, we get the deck out win. But I don't know if he's awake to that. Does he know that? He's about to deck out or we're low on cards here? That's the real question, boys. You know what? Let's actually force him to do something, man. Well, he has got Crimson Fox there. Um, let's force him to do something. This is so interesting, man. Attack with 
shield. Attack! You won't escape from me. I have no idea how this is gonna go, guys. If he mills one more card from his deck, we can win with Decker. It's always a possibility. Always. Come on, come on, come on. Just mill the deck, boy. Mill the deck. <laughs> Turn 25. <laughs> this is intense. All of you broskies that are saying good things, thank you guys. Thank you very much for that. I think he's clocked on that he's only got three cards left. This dang Saber Dancer, man. I don't think there's anything we can do, man. If he's clocked that he's only got two cards left in the deck, <laughs> then there's nothing we can do, boys. Ooh. Wait, rub it. Uh, hold up. Yeah, let's do the do the anguish. I don't know. Does he have anything else in the deck that could mill it? Does he? Let's battle. Crush him. I attack with my monster. Now, I'll use my set card. Here it comes. Really intense spell, man. What a mistake. I activate a continuous trap. Nah. Yeah, I think adding Tiki Curse is the answer. Uria is good as well. But Tiki Curse. Might be better. Nah, guys. I think he knows, man. I think he knows he's low on, low on cards there. Not really much we can do here, boys. The mill is what we're waiting for. Nah, he's not gonna mill it now, man. He's got one card left. Cosmic Cyclone. What do you guys think? Does he know he's low on cards now? Or is he gonna mill just the one card somehow? Is he gonna activate Bird's Effect? He's gonna activate Bird's Effect! That means he's gonna draw, right? Oh, he just decked himself out! Oh my dear! <laughs> oh, he surrendered! <laughs> oh, shit! Sugar, he surrendered. <laughs> Boys, <laughs> we actually got it, man. All of you guys wanting to surrender. Look, this is good example right here, man. <laughs> guys, man, just for that, man, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. That was nuts. <laughs> Damn.